These are Lego shoes, and this is 26.2 miles. My only goal is to complete this marathon in them. But I already ran into my first problem. They keep falling apart. This should work. And the marathon begins. How's it going? Technically, this isn't like a scheduled marathon. We're calling it Michael's Marathon. It stretches 26.2 miles. It ends at an in and out. So I really want to go to that in and out. Oh no, we ran into our first obstacle. It's a crosswalk. How are we going to do this? We're good. We're good. Right here is half a mile. And boom, half a, half a mile down. We're 54 minutes in. Oh. I can't deal with people's optimism while I'm suffering. There's no comfort in these, none. We're crossing a mile. We did it. We're still going though. <laughs> we still got so much more. It took me an hour to walk a mile. Um, There's a Lego in my shoe. Can you believe that? We need a bit of sunscreen. This is our first stop. Also, Josh is joining me. Hello. I wanted to see how my feet are looking though a mile in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so I know a lot of people don't like feet and I'm gonna be showing some gross looking feet in this video to show the legitimacy of this challenge. So if you don't wanna see it, just close your eyes for seven seconds and I'll give you a countdown just like this one before I show it every time. Yeah, there's a blister there. This? Yeah. That's a blister. And then there, it's bleeding right here. That's what's been hurting the most, I think, is the blister at the back. I guess let's continue. Okay, let's pick up some speed. Ah! The blisters started popping and it doesn't feel good. Even though my feet were in extreme pain, I never complained once. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm starting to limp, which isn't good because it's not even mile two yet. But I'm trying to stay optimistic. Can I take a picture? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going for a full marathon? Yeah. And this is mile two? Yeah. Good yes. Job. Thank you. Right. Have a good one. Yes, you. The blister's already drained. Ah! But I really need band-aids right now. So we're just gonna put one down here. I also ordered myself some fuzzy socks. Oh my gosh. My feet are already kind of getting so much more happier. And plus, now you don't have to see the disgusting feet anymore. It's actually kind of helping. The socks and the band-aids and everything. Look how fast I'm going. It's not that fast, is it? It's not. I kept walking, passing mile two and a half, which, fun fact, is about 10% done with the marathon. We're diverging from the bike track just for a little bit because we're meeting Karen and Mandy, who are your two friends. They're helping us out with this challenge. Hello. Do you have food? This is nice. <laughs> oh my god, apple sauce. Goodbye. And we continued the journey. Nothing truly eventful happened. Well, until we're approaching on five miles. The police, pull over. I'm serious. Uh -oh. Are they calling us? I don't know. They got their lights on. Guess not. Oh my gosh. Okay, I thought they were coming for us. I was, I was like, like, what did we do wrong? I was like, I didn't think we did anything wrong. However, Josh and I did take a wrong turn at one point. Take a wrong turn. walked the wrong way. Yes, we're gonna be dropped off at the right location. We are back onto the right trail and Josh is no longer with me. No, he didn't, he didn't die. He had to go. So we're on the mission alone uh, for the rest of today. We're at mile six. There's a breeze. Honestly, a good day, a good Sunday to be out and everything. This is probably one of the worst days of my life. Um, it's just this over and over. They stopped making the fancy numbers now. Now they got lazy. That's mile uh, seven down. I think the feet went numb. That is mile nine. I'm starting to hit a low again. Um, I'm very burnt. I'm in a tunnel right now. So there's actually shade. There's been no shade at all. None. Before Josh left, he did give me a present. It's uh, a little energy boost or something. Here we go. I don't know how I feel about that. Actually, it's not that bad. Oh my gosh, there's another horse looking right at me too. We're coming up on probably one of the biggest milestones of the race. That's mile 10. Oh, 10 miles. Ten, it looks like a thousand when I cover up the distance. 10, 10 miles. Now that I've laid down, I don't want to get back up. Oh, so I guess I'll stand back up. Bye horse. Not looking at me now, that's fine. I'll just keep, I'll just, I'll just keep going. I had a quick break where they brought me water. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I passed 11 miles. I watched a beautiful sunset. And then I realized, look at that, on both of them. No wonder it's been such a struggle. Oh my gosh, it ruined the sunset and everything. Now that I know what's happening, it makes it so much worse. And now I'm starving and now it's getting dark. And I realized there's no lights um, on the walkway. I might have to call it when it's 
dark and then pick up in the morning. But until that moment, I passed mile 12 and- Horses! Hi. Those horses had people on them. I'm right next to a road. Um, so I'm gonna get picked up just because the sun's going down, it's getting dark, and for safety reasons, I don't want to be out here. There's a lot of like horse poo and stuff, and I won't see that if it's dark, so that's not. I'm like halfway. I'm pretty much like halfway. Halfway down, halfway to go. We're taking these off for the night. <gasps> Is it bad? We're in the bathtub, and we're gonna take off the socks. I don't know if that's blood or dirt. Ah. Oh my gosh, it all hurts. This I can't even feel when I touch. Honestly, sleeping is gonna be so nice, but waking up to do it all again, not so nice. Uh, good night. Professor Michael's gonna teach you a quick lesson. When you walk 12.82 miles in Lego shoes and then go to bed, blisters expand and pop when you sleep and uh, you won't be able to walk for three days after. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened. I couldn't put any pressure on my feet for three days and I had to crawl around my apartment like a little gremlin. And most would quit there. But not me! I reinforced the Lego shoes, adding an extra layer underneath. I put on band-aids, wrapped two pairs of socks just for day two. I'm hoping it's not as bad this time, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Well, off we go. Oh yeah, Josh is back. Howdy. Too. And the second half of the marathon was afoot. Get it? Get it? A foot? Either, either way, there was progress! I am going 2.06 miles an hour. That's improvement, actually, from last time. We're 13 miles in, 13.2 miles until in and out and I can't wait. I even tried running, but I quickly stopped that. I didn't like it. They stopped numbering the trail, but I still got the app up, and it says we're at 15.35. I was really ambitious at the beginning, but now the top of my foot hurts and my heel. <sighs> So that sucks. I stopped in some shade because the sun came out. I don't know if you can tell. Look at that sweat. It's disgusting. My ankles are killing me. And the checkpoint that we had was a lot further away than we thought. I want to quit. <laughs> uh. Taking a small break in the shade in the car with more water. You want a gel, Michael? No, I just want to die. But little did I know, all I needed was a nice cold water for McDonald's and a chicken sandwich. This is so good. I'm loving it, if you know what I mean. I also added ankle braces on both feet. Honestly, it would be so easy to just quit. I could just stop right now. The hardest part is continuing to go. But that's what I did. Except I laid down once, I did do that. We're 19.73 in. Nearly across the 20 mile mark. We're going on a different bike trail now because we've come to the end of this bike trail. And ow! I just found out we're across the street. <laughs> this sucks. Okay, we're good. The dogs don't like the Lego shoes. They don't like the Lego shoes. There's a rock in my shoe. Oh, it's a Lego. <laughs> I legit thought it was a rock. Apparently the sidewalk is not maintained well. There's a sidewalk here, but it's so overgrown that we can't how did you get through this, Josh? We found the new trail. The other one was kind of like next to a sewer thing. This is just like a nice parkway. I've kind of fallen over. I think we're like 20.5, so we're less than six miles away now. And I want to be done. Okay, let's get going. This trail is so much nicer. He's working out on a playground now. My legs aren't working hard enough. We're like 21 miles in now at this point. We've kind of just been walking. We talked to a an elderly couple for a little bit and that was precious three two one it's been 15 hours in lego shoes we're almost to our i think our last checkpoint until the end so it's actually kind of exciting we're at 22.12 right now four miles left i don't know how to feel about that uh, it's our last break i don't want to keep walking four more miles well, are you coming are you coming to okay good 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 I had never done a marathon up until this point. I never thought I would, let alone in Lego shoes. And before I started, a lot of people told me it was impossible. There's only one mile to go. One mile, 
until we're at the in and out We've already done 25.2 and there's just one, one left to go. That's the funny thing about impossible things. Take it from a guy that spent 18 hours walking 26 miles to an in and out If you feel like you're going through something that's impossible to overcome, focusing on one step at a time can get you across the finish line. You know what's crazy? I honestly started just thinking this in and out was like a figment of my imagination because like, I was like fantasizing about it for the last 26 miles. Um, it's right there. It was worth the walk. It was worth the walk.